Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave back. I'm Calvin. Rick. Shane. Eric. Aaron. And we are back with movie reactions. Movie -hoo -hoo, Eric. This week, John Wick Chapter 1. Damn, I forgot my popcorn. Wait, it's Wan Wick, right? No. Oh. Obi-Wan Wick. Huh? Someone else add to it. Huh? Add to the reference. Obi -Wan. That's the third time I've heard that joke today. I know, uh, but I couldn't <laughs> deprive the people. Gallo. Deprive, Wick, deprive them, please. Movie one with Nicholas Cage. So you guys saw that go. we did the My Hero Academia movie, and we snuck in there. Yep. That we're doing movie reactions every week now. This week, John Wick. Obi Wan yep. Wicker Man. I already yep. said that, motherfucker. Uh, now, who all has seen John Wick of the crew? I have seen it. I think I have. I don't remember anything about I've it. I've seen that. I haven't seen any of it. Rick hasn't seen any of it. Aaron I feel, I feel like I know. I feel like I know the ending is, but I okay. could be wrong. I've seen right. one behind so the scenes the shooting. No, scene. well, I might not have seen it. Like I'll know yeah. within ten minutes. Uh, okay. John Wick is the kind of movie where it, it came out around the time we started Blind Wave, and I was like, oh, "We're we going to do any movie stuff. I better not watch that." And I just avoided it for years, and people mocked me for it. But I was like, "I'm doing it. I'm doing it for this for today. Yeah. <laughs> All of that <laughs> mockery for today." Eric, yeah, I'm on so this is the end game All those people Blind who Wave. left the channel because we haven't watched it. They did. It. Yeah, they they did. called you, Colin. They did. What's that mean? Huh? Call mockery. Oh, oh. Call mockery. I am so glad that you've been saving yourself for today because yeah. I'm, I'm very excited for this movie. I'm excited too. Uh, I'm excited to see on this TV. I mean, from what I know about it, I expect a lot of this reaction is going to be, holy fuck, that's so fucking cool. But I love that. So yeah. I'm really cool. Yeah, me too. I'm should super be, pumped. Should be yeah. good for you. Yeah. yeah. We should make popcorn for these. We should have popcorn for these, except we should. That'd be a cooking episode, yeah. We don't want to eat in the mic. Not very. Yeah. Especially I don't even like popcorn, so. I'm not huge. I get stuck in my teeth. I like cheese popcorn. <laughs> we should have electric shock, electric shock therapy for this. <laughs> I don't like it, but we should do it. <laughs> well, if you guys want to vote and what we react to next, we also yes. do commentaries as well. You can do that over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Aaron, what can they vote for? Yes, at the time of this one going up, there's going to be a poll. If this is live on YouTube right now, so if on early access, there's already another poll for a commentary. Mm -hmm. On YouTube, though, there'll be a new reaction poll, and you guys can vote on a future reaction that's going to be coming. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay? So make sure you guys go over to patreon.com slash blindwave. You can vote in that poll, and then uh, and enjoy that, and hopefully your choice wins. Yeah, uh, and uh, just like we did with My Hero, we're going to try as hard as we can to keep this reaction here on YouTube, but don't be surprised if you have to click the link down in the description, watch the reaction there, come back here, okay? Yeah, yeah. And this is also a uh, tough edit to get down, Ooh, I'm sure. So I don't know how long yeah. this movie is, but it's hard to get 40-minute shows down to 10 minutes. Let alone yeah. trying to get a two do hour, it getting a two-hour movie cut down. Mm -hmm. So, but due to fair use, we you know we have to do that. We can't just show the whole movie here. Yep. However, That's, there is full length available. It has no mm -hmm. reference footage or any of that kind of stuff. So you can match up your own copy. You can go check out full length uh, available over at Patreon slash our uh, website. Mm -hmm. Yes. Indeed. Okay, I think we're ready. Yeah. Let's see some John Wick. I'm excited. Neo. Huh? Huh? Oh, sorry. himself and he can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. Oh. 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 What's that? What happened? She just collapsed. It's like an illness. It's an illness. No. Illness sucks. So she knew she was gonna die. Damn. Oh. That's such a cute doggy. <sighs> Look at that puppy. Can you order puppies in the mail? Mm-hmm. Go to wives. Why can't you go to puppies? Puppy. I think it's just like daisies. <sighs> I sleep on bed. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep on bed. <laughs> sleep on your face. Well, Lick it. Oh, I hate puppies' breath. I love it. Oh, really? I yeah. love it. I mean, I don't I hate it. I love it. Disgust me. Like, I want to use it as breath they spray. Bottle it. <laughs> <laughs> Where does he go? Does he have a yeah, job? Anywhere he damn wants here. What does he do? It's Keanu Dam Reeves. What's his job? Does he have a job? It's Theon Greyjoy. <gasps> Is it? Yep. Yep. Holy shit! Oh, I love dogs. Lucy was super inside. I want to be super. Yeah. Let's see him in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> I sleep, sleep on bed. bed. <laughs> <laughs> it, it must have been after the wife died, right? What? What the fuck? I'm kind of scared of shit. What's this? 
Everything has a price. Oh, uh, these are the Russian fucks who won the car? Goddamn Russians. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'll leave the doggy alone. <laughs> what no! the fuck? For a car? Just go buy a car! You could kill anything else on a, a dog. Children, old people, I'm fine with that. Puppies, no. Because you stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, you killed his dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's an explanation. He just, okay. Is he a crime? John Wick guy? is a badass I motherfucker. I just want to know who the hell John Wick is. <clears throat> the fucking nobody. Talk about people talk about me. It's Rick Martin. <laughs> Fucking nobody. Fine <laughs> wave. Call him Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga! What's that? The thing the guy talked about in Ant Man? You would know, Shane. This is Baba Yaga. The Russian witch boogeyman. Yeah. He was the one you said to kill the fucking boogeyman. Holy shit! Please. I'm fucking torqued right now. <laughs> 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 dude, he has so many pistols. Oh, this is awesome. Tusky crew. How many? How many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I put them so much. Oh man. Oh shit. Gosh. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> That's five guys. Man really knows how to shoot a gun. He's like, what happens when I play Hitman? I'm trying to be stealthy. I'm like, fuck it, I circular everybody. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Holy fucking shit. shit. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. <laughs> ah! oh! I don't think they have enough men. <laughs> How many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> he knows I love Kung it. Fu. I love the shots, man, because they don't have to hide it. It's Keanu Reeves doing this yep. shit. Yeah. He's like a fucking black belt, isn't he, anyways, in real life? Hey, he does jujitsu, I know that. Oh. This is this mostly is judo. That's great. Oh, takedown. Oh, oh. He switched hands, he caught it. It better be the last one, or you better hurry. Oh! Oh! God! Fuck, that was damn good. I look so real. <laughs> you, uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll leave you be then. He knows the cops. Nice, John. They know him. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Krugerrands? What are these coins? Just gold, I think. Right? But the other guy had the same thing. He did. I think it's Krugerrands. What the hell is that? It's uh, gold coins. It's a currency. In... Yeah, it's an African currency. Okay. So are these, are these coins for like... Missions? Like a certain currency just for people that do this shit? I always think about like how our future lineage can just go back and watch us. Yeah. You know? It's weird. Makes me watch what I say sometimes. Apparently not that much. Like though. you guys wanna watch John Wick with your grand granddad? <laughs> oh, so. Holy shit. I wonder if he knows he's the bait. Hi, Shane's grand uh, kids. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is that Kevin Nash? I would not be surprised if that was Kevin Nash right there. That motherfucker, that looks like Kevin Nash! That is Kevin Nash! I don't really know what it looks like anymore. <laughs> it looks like that! I'm going to this yard! That's such a far away glimpse. I just think of him as Shredder. <laughs> you know what I mean? Super yeah. Shredder. Yeah. Yep. That's Kevin Nash. Why don't you take the night off? <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's <laughs> 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 nice sweet. Oh! Yeah, it's a little dumb. Just show my pencil! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst oh. part. Oh, you dumbass. 
Wasn't even genes to protect him. <laughs> oh, you kill his dog, bitch. Oh, you gonna dry him in that little bit of water? Good. Kill his dog. I started drinking. Oh! Would help. It would not help. No, I don't think it would. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> That's cool. Jeez. Oh. Oh, scream. He's looking at his eyes. That's what I would do. I like to see the light leave their eyes. I don't know if I could stab somebody. I feel like I could shoot somebody. I don't know if I could stab somebody. Depends on how motivated I was. I, I mean, yeah. I you're guess. not a dog person. Why man. the hell am I killing you? I what? couldn't just do it down the street. Huh? So you're not a dog person. I am a dog person. I'm not a cat person. I hate cats. Oh man. This is this is like. Oh, oh shit. shit! That's so cool. Eric, this is your moment to hit me when everything goes terrible. Yeah. <laughs> she just starts throwing coins everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and I shoot him. He's oh, gonna leave him. Oh, you're dead. Oh, he doesn't want to just shoot you. Nope. He wants to terrify him. Yep. That's a big man. Oh, Jesus, look at that. That's a big man, it's Pito. Oh. Oh. oh, my oh. God. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh, He's really, you little bitch? Yep. Ooh. That's a big gun. Hey, man, coke. And it's got a, uh... What's it called at the end of it? Compensator? Yeah, compensator. Love that sound. I'm naked, dance! <laughs> oh, I feel so vulnerable. Ah, oh, shit! Blend it with the crab. He's walking like his ass in the tree. The other guy's in regular motion. Yeah, like... <laughs> He's somehow still catching him. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, you boom, boom. He's like punching him. Dangerous. Duck food. No bam, bam. Even, no one even heard. <laughs> it's a club. Probably like hollow points, right? So they explode on the inside. Oh, shit. Jeez. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh, he's out. <laughs> Hang on, stay there. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love how much they show him uh, reload. Yeah. That never happens in movies, man. Usually they don't. Oh, oh the bearded man. Oh. Why did you shoot him twice? He's oh. Double tapping. Oh. You got this. Oh shit. Oh. That was a good stunt. Jeez. <laughs> Keep waiting for the knife. Oh man, he's been stabbed. I should have been counting how many people he's been, di been dying. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about it. It's more than 12. Yeah, he's been 12 plus. He's at least double. 12 and some change. <laughs> they need a combo thing on the side. Everything's got a price. Oh, he did kill that guy up top? No, no he didn't no. kill him. Oh, okay. That guy wasn't Victor. Victor was the guy in the sink. Yeah. Oh, okay. One of the guys that stole the Still, stars. How does he keep track of them all? Victor's dead. That killed Victor. Yeah, I did kill Victor. Victor's dead. <laughs> I think. Wait, is he gonna kill him at Switzerland? Or he's gonna kill the guy that's gonna come to kill him? Well, the club was Switzerland. Is the is the hotel? The hotel is part of the club. I think it's all one thing. Like if you're here, this is Switzerland. It's, it's like... the continental. <laughs> that was a he could have hit warning. him. Warning. Yeah, he did him up. to warn him. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh. It's Perkins or whatever, isn't it? Is that her name? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I let myself in. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, man, that was crushed your throat. Just keep yeah. her there. Oh, oh no, he stitches. Ah, oh, fuck. That's an iron move right there. So, oh, my day. <laughs> she knows it's a front. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So quick, man. He just peeks around the corner of dead. Have a nice day. Okay. Oh, is he taking all of his money? He's gonna burn. He's gonna burn all of his money. Yep. White phosphorus. Yeah. How much that is. 
A lot more than you can imagine. I can imagine quite a bit. <laughs> he shoots all of his guards. That's the one guy that fought him pretty well. Yeah. Ah, oh. oh, jeez. Oh. Shoots him four oh. times and pops him in the head. Oh no! Jeez! Oh. There's your opening, boys. You can't invest on. Doesn't protect the car! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh no. <clears throat> Rewarded for our misdeeds, which is why God took your wife and unleashed you upon me. <laughs> That's cool. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. So now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. So you can either hand over your yeah. son, or you can die standing alongside him. Fuck, oh, man. Fuck, damn it. Yep. Oh! Yep. You were right, Rick. Marcus. You were right, Rick. I've seen these kind of movies before. It's because it wasn't exclusive. He's like, fuck that. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, it's a shotgun. Oh. Uh, wrong car, man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're coming. Of course. But it won't matter. <laughs> Shit! That's what I did as Spider-Man. Take one out. Stealthy. Oh! Oh! Guy yeah, in the back just... What's up being good down? <laughs> oh, jeez. How do you do all that shit? Stretch. Like Hitman. Or to keep them from escaping. To yeah. their vehicles to escape. Exactly. Now they don't have it. Oh! Huh. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That thing's so damn cool. Like an assassin Jesus. <laughs> It was not just a fucking dog. Oh my god, that's so good! You were the dog. Oh. Don't give up your son. Just die. Yeah. You might as well. Miss Birkin, your membership to the Continental has been by thine altar hand revoked. Damn. Yeah. You don't fuck with the Assassin's Code. I love, like, this world that they built. Yeah. It seems so real, you know? Metal. 
English, please. Good luck. Russian cocksucker. <laughs> 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 this guy is so out of his own. I don't know what his job is, but it's not Yeah, this. what is his job? It's not this. It's like a, like a business manager. Yeah. Or something. He's number one. You know, what? What the hell? That's it. That's his role. <laughs> Why you look at the bullet? Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <sighs> no more guns, dog. Oh. Are we gonna do this no one of these things? Bullets. No more bullets. A great place for a fight. <laughs> Rain. Ah, uh, end of lethal weapon. Underlit. Just you and me, John. I think I got be <laughs> Yeah. Only the thing. Oh. <coughs> no bullets. Didn't get say a, anything about knives. Get a pencil. What? What? Oh! Oh. Now he has the knife. Jeez. There or something. Directed where it went. He missed the vital organs. Took the stab yeah. so he could stab him. Jeez. Now they're both just laying there bleeding to death. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> they continue this fight in hell. Yeah. I the chopper has to be like... We can't take it off, it's storming! That's why you decided to fight. <laughs> oh, it's a Vets. Vets uh, office. Yeah. Can we get another dog? He's probably gonna try to take some medicine and sew himself up, sew himself up and And that. We gotta get a dog? We're gonna not die, Shane! <laughs> <laughs> Free all the dogs! <laughs> Takes them all. <laughs> so we're living the woods behind your dogs. <laughs> Just starts a kennel. Oh, becomes solid snake. Moves to Alaska. Dog sled team. Okay. God damn. I'll see dog shows and he runs around the course of them. Let's go. Let's go. He's got a new puppy. Hey, this is where his wife fell, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. Okay. All right, don't fuck with that dog. You're good. Okay, John Wick. Mm -hmm. I can see the hype. Yeah. In yeah. In terms of the action. I'm glad I have not seen this movie. Did not know the ending. Yeah. I'm really glad. Good. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, choreography in this fights were amazing. It was. And I mean, they were, they were so amazing. I thought that the the last uh, hand to hand was a little lackluster compared to how amazing the the gun. Yeah, I, I was. I mean, I loved this movie. No, it was. Great. I was, was slightly very... underwhelmed by the the final boss. It, there, there was no kung fu. Well, it felt like just a realistic brawl, yeah, really yeah. fight though, you know? Like yeah. it's like there was that one guy like spacing him and stuff yeah. and then they're fighting, they're struggling. Like it, it yeah. didn't seem like it was like a here's a, a crazy kung fu matrixy sure. fight, it just felt like here's a real yeah. fight. Yeah. Well by people. that time John Wick is incredibly tired, beat up. Yeah. He's been stabbed. Yeah. And I, I, I think it was kinda like, well, like he was holding himself back a little bit so you yeah. could have like a fist fight. True. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's just hard for me to see Keanu Reeves dripping wet, heavy rain, and not being like, <laughs> My world is raining, my world and he goes running out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but seeing so, Keanu do all those stunts. Seeing him, yeah. him do those stunts. Great. And he actually remember. performed, in in his words, 90% of the stunts yeah, in this film. I believe in this film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More I definitely him. believe it. I, like, I, I don't think pretty the, much all the driving was him. Did he do the driving too? Because yeah. the driving is the one thing that they like almost They never let you do. Like, like in the, fast, yeah. the first Fast and Furious well, movie, they did all that, and yeah. then the ones after that, they didn't let him do anything. Well, all the driving where you see his face, he did. Sure, okay. Because he, he, yeah. he is like a professional driver, he's trained to do that. Um, yeah, you had to have like certain certifications for the movie insurance to yeah. even allow you to do that kind of stuff. Defensive driving. That's the word I was looking defensive, for before. Defensive driving? The basic oh. driving? Yeah. No, no, no. There's a... There's classes you can take that mm -hmm. train you for like defensive driving yeah. in either bad traffic conditions or bad Like police take it and stuff. Or, yeah. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah I did a, a thing on that in college. Hmm. It's like a weekend trip thing. 
I so, mean, there are a lot of revenge movies out there, yeah. but I think this one stands out. It probably makes for me... its yeah for just its level of choreography and thought process. I yeah, think. yeah, and the I mean the, the cinematography, the lighting, like everything serves all of those shots. The so, guy made it like an art film, yeah. like, um, you know, with like actually a certain the, type of lighting and the certain... producer and director. They actually uh, co-produced and co-directed, even though regulations on the movie wouldn't allow them both sure. to be credited for it, but. Gotcha. Uh, Chad Stahileski and okay. David Leitch both produced and directed produced it. Produced and directed. Interesting. Uh, interesting thing about Chad, uh, he was actually Keanu's stunt double in The Matrix. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's fucking so awesome. So he's moved up in, in the That's really cool. Film that's cool. Good yeah. bit. Huh. You can see their influence on the stunts yeah. and the stunt work and yeah. stuff like that. Well, I, I imagine like, like... Actually, quite a few of the stunt team from The Matrix yeah. came to here. Well, I imagine that kind of person... Wanting to make this type of movie too is kind of a cool thing to think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, and especially every, getting Kiana back. Every stunt and stuff they had, nothing felt like it was unbelievable. It was like a very grounded. It movie was grounded. Where it wasn't but, like, yeah. how the hell is he gonna do that and live? You yeah, know? it was yeah. more of like, damn, that was gonna hurt. It's, it, it, could it, not it looked like it looked like peak human ability almost. Yeah. Like, cause he would like peer around a corner, and then like in that second, there's six guys in there. Bam, bam, bam! I've killed three of them. Now I go back, you know. Well, and it feels great because, like, you know, he's shooting these people, but he's reloading. Yeah. Like, you see yeah. the whole sequence. He's also, like, protecting himself in these fights as well. Like, yeah. he's setting up, the, the like, the jujitsu that he does. He, like, sets up a thing that he knows it. Once he rolls over, I got the guy in the arm bar. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love great. whenever he shot the one guy and then jumped on him and then shot the next guy, yeah. like, in front of him yeah. further on so that he had, like, a shield. shield. Mm-hmm. And then he took, then he, as he shot that guy, then he grabbed this guy, took him down to the ground, sure. you know? Yeah. Because it's also fluid. Yeah. Yeah, he, he spent four months for eight hours a day practicing martial arts and shooting. Now, I've seen, like, a video of him, like, running a course with yeah, I've firearms. Seen it too. And it's fucking awesome. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the movie. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, that's yeah. awesome. The technique that he uses is called axis relock stance. Okay. Okay. So when he's really it's close, the, like it's, this, it's the very like because he, yeah. he even will fire like back yeah. here. He'll fire from back here, like, and it's yeah. As far as like a shooting platform, it's it's actually more safe, even yeah. though you can't use the sight line mm-hmm. as much. It's not where near plugged in. He is fucked. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, his gun actually has a custom built uh, suppressor compensator, yeah. so it does quieten it a little bit. But those other guys thing. shooting his face and shit. Yeah. <laughs> can't help that. That's one thing I like too was the all the gunplay and all the fight and everything seemed fairly realistic is seen it you know a lot of yeah. times like you watch stuff and it's like people like this and they go like this and there's no there's no recoil or there's no there's, everything seems yeah. like it's all it's all cgi'd after they added in everything there and they're, they're just holding a gun yeah everything seemed like they were actually moving with a real gun shooting a real gun fighting like i love some of the like gun fooey you know like whenever he had it he punched the guy in the throat the dude. and then he ran out of bullets so then he reloaded all the guys like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, no, love, I, mean, I love that I mean, I'm still just an old geezer, but I can't get over CG blood. No, I, I get you. Especially, I mean, you know... Sometimes like, I didn't notice. I only noticed yeah. a couple times. And it was around the time you said that. There was a, yeah, there was a couple times where I'm like, oh, that's a, that looks like a squib. Yeah. And then a couple times where it's like it's so fast and it's the blood. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, a few times look looked great. Like when he had that guy on the table and he shot the head. Yeah. Like I'm not sure if that was a digital effect, but it looked amazing. It was like a squib to me. But yeah. It had like two strips coming yeah. out of his head. It looked great. Yeah. yeah. But other times it was like, ah, that's, that's just sure. CG. Yeah. I, I, I understand what you mean. It doesn't bother me as much. It's interesting, too, because like the recoil that Aaron was talking about and the muzzle flash, it all looks in camera. Yeah, it looks so good. And, you know, after Bruce Lee's son died, yeah. you know, in The Crow, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they in the do- production, they, people don't want to do that kind of thing anymore, especially right here, yeah. you know? Maybe if you're off camera, what you're shooting at, so they can be safe. But when you have well, an actor there's... taking a point-blank blank, yeah. In the face, you got to be careful with that. Sure. That that specific type of blank is no longer used either yeah. because he used a paper wad to build yeah. up the pressure, and that's actually what hit him. Mm-hmm. Kill him. That sucks. Jason but, Lee, right? Is that yeah. his name? I believe so. Brandon Jason Lee. Lee. Brandon, Brandon Lee. Jason yeah. Lee is some of Brody. Brody from All right. Yeah. yeah. Um, My name is Earl. But yeah, they they use a different kind of yeah. blank now for, Lee, for that kind of stuff. Yeah. I like what Shane was saying too, though, about like the 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 universe, the world that the you're world in. is interesting. Like, yeah. the, it's the, less the, grounded than the fighting. Yeah, the hotel is like this Switzerland kind of place. I love the... I believe I, it, though. I love that I need a reservation. You know, yeah, the reservation. Yeah, sure. Like, I love that. There's, there's like everything a, around it. It all seems very real, well-grounded. Yeah. yeah. There's like just, a weird assassin economy. 
Yeah. yeah. With it, its own rules and laws. It reminds me a lot of like Ocean's Eleven for thieves. Yeah. Like, like, like there's this world, there's this terminology, there's this core group of people where everyone knows everyone in yeah. the business. But this is like that for, for assassins. Yeah. And you you pay with these special coins. Yeah, like when they talk about pulling like you know, they give like a nickname. It's not a nickname. It's like a name to them for like a job. Well, we we did it this like a yeah. like a one two. You know what right, I mean? Right. So yeah. Much more elegant. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? What is that? You know what I mean? So well, yeah, we I pull a purse lady. Yeah, purse lady. Yeah. yeah. We can't do that. We need this is this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like I'm always like, what the hell is that? Can I have one? See, yeah. I thought the the female assassin was gonna survive because I was trying to think like. What's John Wick 2 going to be? Yeah, me too. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, that's the meta thought of it. No one survived yeah. of the bad guys. He has a new dog. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess. And a new car. He yeah, loses his second dog. <laughs> that puppy was so fucking cute. Yeah. Cute little dog. It really man. was. I was really mad. Theon Greyjoy. Now, that, that was actually based on a true event. A Navy SEAL actually finished his tour and came back home, and his teammates... Gave him a Labrador puppy, mm-hmm. and he woke up one night to a gunshot and see four men running away, and his dog, Daisy, was dead in his front yard, uh. and he grabbed his two Beretta pistols and chased them through four counties until they were eventually arrested. Fuck yeah. And he said, I didn't, the only reason I didn't kill them is because I've killed enough people already. <laughs> Thank God he didn't end up in yeah. jail. I know. Unless he was in Texas, in which case the judge would reward him. Reward him. Thank God for Texas. <laughs> yeah. The guy's name was Marcus Luttrell, and he actually yeah. Marcus. Authored, a, authored a book called The Lone Survivor about Operation Red Wings. The Lone Survivor. Cool. Interesting. Red what? Red Wings. Wings. Red Wings. In 2005. So, I was sure you said Red Ring. No. You said Marcus. I'm like, oh, Marcus was a yeah. good assassin. You said Red Red Ring. I'm like, oh, Red Ring. Wasn't that the Red Circle? That's, red Circle. Red circle, red circle, red circle. Yeah. First book for a book club. I, are John Wick and William Defoe about the same age, and they just hit yeah. completely different genetic lotteries? Yeah, William Defoe is actually order, older. He's got to be like uh, than late sixties, right? Because John, he's I believe in this, he's late fifties. Okay. But Keanu is early to mid forties. Because okay. he has never looked good. Like I love him, but never yeah. looked good. How about when he was Jesus, he was all right. <laughs> the Temptation of Christ. It's okay. Ah, that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it's a really no, long actually, time ago. This is the first movie in which Willem Dafoe and Keanu Reeves have had an acting scene together. Yeah. They've been in two other films, okay, Speed and Speed, Speed 2. Yeah, Speed. Speed. Which they never <sighs> interacted on film. Have you huh. ever seen Speed? Yeah, seen Speed? yeah, yeah, of course. I don't know yeah. if I have. Can't do a reaction. They don't know if you've seen Speed? <laughs> I don't know. Then you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is that the Santa Bullock? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. I never saw Speed 2. I, don't think. Yeah, I, I have. have seen I saw Speed, that though. one. Don't, don't recommend it. Yeah. So it's not, uh, good. it's not as good as the first one, but yeah. still. Another interesting fact, the uh, the nightclub scene, mm-hmm. Keanu Reeves actually learned and memorized that the day of the shoot. Really? Yeah. The choreography? All of it, yeah. The whole yeah. thing front to back that day that they yeah. shot it. So Interesting. That's, that's awesome. Pretty incredible. Damn, yeah, yeah dude, that's... I, uh, you know, usually in a movie or a TV show, I want to be able to feel the dread of a character and not be told that I should dr- dread this character. <laughs> yeah. But here in this, they're like, who? John Wick's car and killed his dog. And they're, everybody's just like, oh. I <laughs> fuck! Yeah. I love when they're talking to yeah. Vigo and stuff. It's like, I heard you struck my son. Why would you do that? He stole John Wick's car and killed his dog. Oh. 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 And then he just <laughs> hung up. Hung up. Yeah. Yeah. No more words needed. I'm just saying, like, I usually don't like that, sure. but here it was done so it was well. Done yeah. so and well. especially because, like, well, he's a nice guy and he's lost his wife and his, he got a car accident and his dog, you know? And you're like, what's. What is, you're like, what'd you do? I spent the game like, yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen him do any jobs. Yeah. <laughs> what's he work? How's he get this money? Just yeah. drives a car, feeds a dog. That's all yeah. I've yeah. seen him do. So, like, whenever it's contrasted by, like, the things about him that we're not scared of. You know, and then they say you just fucked up. Then you're yeah. like, "Ooh, now I'm well, interested." And, and as has, opposed to like, sometimes you'll have like this real big bad guy come out and just be intimidating. It's like you have no idea what I'm about to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, in the no, central metaphor of the story is like the Baba Yaga. It's like he's the boogeyman. The boogeyman. So it, he's a guy you send to kill the boogeyman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was gonna say when they called him the Baba Yaga, I got so excited. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought of Ant Man and the Wasp and all yeah. the stories of that. And like, oh my god. I'm so excited. <laughs> they call him the Baba Yaga. Yeah. I love uh, John Luigi, whatever his name is. John Luguizmo. Yeah. Oh, maybe he'll be in a sequel. Luigi? Yeah, Luigi. Luigi! Yeah. <laughs> he had such a small part, but I love yeah. the little part. Do you think well, Keanu Reeves will ever be in the MCU? It's like everyone else is. He was up for Doctor Strange, I heard. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't know. He would have been an interesting Doctor Strange. Yeah. But you, you know what's interesting about him is like his range as an actor. Like I, I, I haven't seen him in a lot of different things, but he's perfect for certain things. Oh man, gone and like kind of like Tom. Like, gone, oh, was it called Gone Fluent? What's that one movie? Gone Fluent. That movie's no. old as shit. What? <laughs> uh, a Walk in the Clouds. You ever see that? No. Uh, yeah, is it a love movie? Yeah. What about? Joy saw it, and he, yeah. she there's said, "There's also good. there's also a cabin." A, Okay. Damn, what's it it's called? like a love story. It's in a Bullock. Cabin on the Lake or something like that. Oh, yeah. I've right? got that from, yeah, from like, Redbox in 2005. It's like Sandra Bullock yeah. and, and Keanu Reeves, I believe. Both I can't remember. Yeah. It's like a love story, and they send yeah. letters back and forth oh, each yeah. other. There's also a, a, yeah. a series, I think it's on Netflix, where he is a therapist, hmm. and he plays that part excellently. Just keep him out of Dracula. Yeah, he's not great in the dragon. No, like, he's amazing in villain. Like, yeah. <laughs> but like, kind of like other people, like because Tom Cruise, like I love him, but he doesn't seem to have like a type of like a huge range of how he acts. Yeah, sure. He just he's kind right. of pl- yeah. Well, he just but, and, well, he's been in some like crazy roles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like where and, he's delivered good before, like uh, Tropic Thunder. Constantly. Oh yeah, people love him that. Uh, but I was thinking more of Jerry Maguire. You know, like, uh, you know what I mean. Sure. But like, he's committed to the craft so much. Where you just like he learns all these skills, kind of like Keanu Reeves. He learns all these extra things. Mm-hmm. Much respect to that man. Yeah. No, I think he was he, he was Keanu was great in this role just because he's at a point where he's not. I mean, he could be, but he's not peak John Wick. I actually kind of want to know what was John Wick like. What was before the pencil killing his, thing with before his wife? Sure. Yeah. Like what was he? What did he act like? Was Two he could be well, pretty I mean, cool. You know. The the Vigo Ooh. guy he even said. You're John. You're John Wick of old. You know, yeah. You're just. You're the same as you've ever been. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe this is him. You know. Maybe. The th- so. the thing I like too, like talking about like you were saying about like telling how scary he is and all this kind of stuff. Like you get that with the Baba Yaga, but yeah. then after they invade his house and the police officers show up. Yeah. It's like, hey John. Hey Jimmy. Yeah. What's that about? Like, how's it going? <laughs> uh, you working? You, you working again? <laughs> you know, like he knows what he did. <laughs> maybe so once you get no, into this just, economy and you just have these figuring some things out. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if like once you get into this economy and you, you you're using these coins things. and you get to like a certain yeah. amount of coins, they don't bother you. Well, <laughs> and also the um, Russian guy was like, you know, you got rid of all my influence, my power, yeah. my blackmail. So maybe he had the cops in his pocket. Maybe. And so since John worked with him before, I sensed it more of John. Yeah. Like, uh, you know. Yeah, but it could be that. But the nice thing about doing that early in the film is in like every time later on you can say, Why well, haven't the cops showed up? It's like, oh, it's because you know, they're all above the cops. There, yeah. You know what I mean? So like the cops know it's those guys. Yeah. So the cops won't show up. They just up. came to a church or a shoot and no one cares, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean it's one of those things where I feel like if they got a phone call, they'll get oh, you know, that could be you know, John John Wick went there. You know what I mean? So leave it alone. Kevin Nash. <laughs> Francis. Kevin Nash. Yeah. That's yeah, great. There's, there's like, so I'm just saying, like, you, you cast somebody like that to just make him feel more badass, yeah. you know? Yeah. You cast Kevin Nash, though. There's so many moments of mutual respect in <laughs> yeah. this, too, to me, where, like, I, people just, yeah, like, they that. know who he is. Like, hey, Francis. Yeah. How, how about you take a night off? He's like, thank you. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. I'm going to leave. <laughs> well, Harry got fucked. Was it Harry? The black guy? Got, yeah. He got hey, fucked, man. Like Henry? Oh, Harry? 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 I, I wrote Harry. Harry. Harry's a somebody. Right. Harry earned a coin. So. I think it's Harry. And it's towards okay. the end. I'm pretty so. sure it was Harry. Yeah. Okay. But he yeah, he should have killed that. Well, it's weird because you sense all this history, kind of, too. You know yeah. what I mean? They all figure he would have been ready for someone that can break or dislocate yeah. their thumb and get out of that. I, I love the line, you know, where he said, God took your wife, but then he unleashed you upon me. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's just like this life clings, oh, yeah. to, clings to us and it we cannot the, escape it. He was saying it was the just desserts for the life that we've lived. Yeah. yeah it's a, it's kind of like a karma kind of thing. So it's one of those things where, like, because I kind of thought he was going to go, well, you know, God took your wife because of this. But then he also acknowledged, he, then he said, yeah. you're made to kill me. Because yeah. yeah. my hands are dirty as well. Yeah. So that was awesome. I love that line. I also um, really like the way they handled the subtitles for the Russian s- speech, you know? Like how, like how it's very big. Yeah, it's very like, uh, yeah, like a comic book kind of thing. I, I really mm-hmm. liked it. So like whenever yeah. someone like here comes the boogeyman, yeah, you know, no, like, <laughs> you know what's like that's huge. <laughs> I'm just trying to think like if I was making this movie and uh, the you know the, his business manager, like I'm trying to think like why the hell is he in this movie? Like what does he do? Yeah, sure. And maybe it's for that part in the end, or like when I like know, that actor. I, I like him too. Yeah, yeah but I was thinking like what the hell does he do? Like why? Like if he yeah. wasn't in this movie, it wouldn't change anything, would it? Not, There's a couple of cool moves. Not moments. really. Like, he, it's just like, to talk to. Well, I mean, he also. Kind but of there's provi- some funny stuff. He kind of provides like as a vehicle to the audience into this Russian gang. Yeah, he's a fucking he's Russian. Like, he's, he's kind of like not really used to it. He's like English, stuff. please. So like, there's uh, that. Yeah. He's so, like, please, you know, stay, stay. <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> he has to watch him just beat up his son. Yeah. yeah. Hey, his part might have got cut down or something. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there was originally... Like Agent Brody, then Red Line. Um, there was originally about 39 minutes of extra footage in this. Interesting. Um, a good deal of it was in the opening sequence where it's all quiet and yeah. it's John yeah. just walking around. Okay. Uh, the director said that most of what is on the, uh, the cutting room floor is just... Amazing shots of John Wick walking sure. through amazing scenery. Because yeah. it, it seemed like he had but a dog for a day. It's like I get like why he's attached to it because of his wife, but like also he seemed to have it like less than yeah. a day. <laughs> yeah, so he actually, there's also I like what he worded it though with like, you know, my wife died. She sent me this dog, so I didn't have to grieve alone. And now your son took that from me. Yeah, yeah. I you think know, the movie might have been a little dog. better though if it was like. You know, he had it for a few weeks, and like we no, saw he, him grieving without it. His wife died six days before this movie. Yeah. yeah, and he got that dog like two days ago. And she said, "So it up yeah." So I died. think it like he is might have associated because it was so soon. He associated the dog with the wife even more. Yeah, and like a year, like a year later, you might just associate well, the dog with being to, a dog. In the context, it's to get through his grieving process of his wife, and this is a gift from his wife, so he's not alone. It's not about how much he loves the dog. It's still connected to the love he had for his wife yeah. and her caring for him to not be so alone. Do you yeah. think it, there might also... I mean, we don't know exactly how much the wife knew about him in his previous life, but do you think there's also a level of, like, I'm trying to give you something to keep you away from yeah. heading well, back Well, she there. had the line in there, too, that was, like, you need something to love. You need something someone. to love or you're going to go back to it. Yeah. Or something so, other than the car. Yeah. 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 So, like, giving him something to hold on to... Yeah will also keep him away yeah. from his... Shows. I think she has some... Idea. Inkling, at least, yeah. of his past life. Interesting. Well, yeah. I mean, the reason why he got out of that life and settled down with her, you know, all, all everything that they alluded to in the past and stuff, he yeah. did to be with her. I like to get out of it. They gave him an Ethan Hunt mission. Mission Impossible. Mm -hmm. And he did it. And we don't even know what that is. What is it? The bodies he buried that day laid the foundation of our, <laughs> we are. our business. Yeah. 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 It was our such empire. a risky thing that it built us. <laughs> I love it. It's so That's good. crazy. I do, do want to see more. Yeah. How did his son not know who he was? It happened young. young. He's not that young. Because he said, like, oh, while well, you were away having your wife, I had my son. I was like, your son isn't four or well, five years old. I don't think he meant he had a son. I think he meant that he brought his son well, into the business and stuff, and he had him, and it was terrible. I mean, it could be that the kid was Maybe. 13, 14 before they brought him into the business. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have my son involved in a criminal empire no. tent, you know, no. or yeah. 14 years old or any of that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, start him out earlier. That makes sense. I mean, so, he just looks older, I sure. guess. Yeah. So maybe, like, he hit 18, and now he's maybe 23 or 4 or something like yeah. that in here. Mm -hmm. You know, somewhere around that time of bringing, like, a, he's a man now, bring him into the criminal yeah. underworld, and he's a fool! Yeah. Goddamn fool. He the, didn't, doesn't uh, know the story of John Wick. He sure. Yeah. The director and producer were looking for someone with a very hateable face. <laughs> and they met Alfie Allen. He was perfect for yeah. it. Yeah. He's Even though it. he's a very likable yeah. guy <laughs> in real life. I can see it. It's great. The movie almost lost me in the beginning. I can tell from my notes because I wrote, Dog's so cute. And then right under it says, Fuck this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm like, so mad. Dogs in movies don't. Get me really, too much. it really, it's just the old yeller. It's the, it's I mean, the companion the, nature. Like that one earns it, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. This just felt kind of cheap to me. It's like, yeah, oh, I'm gonna no kill way, a dog dude. to make the audience care. No okay? way, dude. Okay. I felt like yeah. he was killing his wife. That's how I felt when I looked yeah. at it. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean, that's the connection that he was killing when he killed the dog. He yeah, was, so he was killing me, it was like he killed his, his wife. His, that sure. he, had. he killed a little bit of left that, that was in the world. Yeah. Um, it's just that it's just that like especially with the, like with something like a dog or a puppy an adolescent dog like there's just something ingrained and like it's innocent and it loves you immediately you know and, yeah it's yeah. because through artificial selection we killed all the ones that didn't Eric <laughs> Rick was saying something in, in the thing about like what is it about like your wife being gone like a terrible thing about yeah I was like well no shit Rick <laughs> huh Rick? Yeah, yeah 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 but I was like thinking about like it would be terrible. But like, have you ever thought about like, I hope she dies first so she doesn't go through the pain of not having me. <laughs> <laughs> Such a terrible. <laughs> but somehow, I hope she died before missing me. <laughs> what's the? What's worse than death, Melanie? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, because if you died, thing? she would just kill herself anyways. Because well, like, well, she'd have nothing. Throws herself <laughs> on her funeral pyre. Like, think about like, if she died, I feel like I would, I would, I would be, it would be terrible. Yeah. I'd miss my life so much. 
I would not want her to go through that. Yeah. <laughs> In that but, case, death would be a release. So you you <laughs> selflessly want her to die first. <laughs> yes. As a as a selfless as a selfless gesture, her dying first would be better. Yeah. So she doesn't have to go through that. Yeah. That sounds like like if you're gonna go out, you're gonna take her with her. No. It sounds terrible, Aaron. No. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. No. See, I like that it was the dog too, and not like you know the classic. Oh, you kill my family now, I'm gonna come after you because. From like a rational standpoint, it's like it's just a dog, you know. But that's how like that's how uh, close he is to who we yeah. used to be. Yeah. And like you can tell, he's a little he's a little tiny, tiny bit unhinged. Sure. You know. And when that happened, it's just like, well, fuck all this. I I know what I'm good at, and he just goes back to it, you know. Yeah. The and connection used, with the it's wife like is a really good. Kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's weird how mates go. I'm always I'm married, so I've experienced. You know, I, it makes me feel this way more. But like. All the stuff with the wife in the beginning really got me going. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, when I see like men like like Keanu Reeves cry, it gets me going. When I see like very masculine men yeah. who played like fucking, you know, the one, yeah. basically, you know? Well, like, and then the build up of him, like them talking about who he is while he's like just sledgehammering this floor and mm-hmm. stuff like that, too. Like, you just see like the, He's a man of pure focus. Like, he it's, literally it's, buried it's determination. And then he had to yeah. dig it back up. He's hitting yeah. his he had, to, he had back to bury his wife. And then undig his old life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. That's, yeah, good way to. It's like God of War, Shane. Yeah. Mm. That was a good scene. Good scene. And played. All right. Loved it. Got nothing else to say. I want to see the second one. I'm excited for movie reactions. I had a lot of fun with this. We'll so, to... Like, you know, like I said it before, kind of in the beginning, like why I haven't watched John Wick yet. There's so many things I haven't went to see because I think, well, maybe one day we'll do it on the channel. It's happening, everybody. Uh-huh. It's happening. It's exciting. Uh, you guys were curious. He killed 77 people. In this movie, I thought uh, we'd take a tally. Nice. I was like, "Damn, I should have kept a tally." There's 12 yeah, in the beginning. Uh, I should have kept a tally. However many people. It's like killed. commando numbers. Yeah, with a total of 119 people killed through the thing by other people. By, by other, other people. people. Okay, okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Jason Isaacs was actually up for the part of the owner of the hotel of the hmm. Continental, and hmm. Ian McShane took that. He was the guy at the he, end he's saying, "He's the like, American Gods guy." You've been revoked. Yes, I see. Okay. okay, your membership. I wasn't sure if he was the owner or yeah. exactly yeah. what, but yeah, okay. it's that's the owner, and also the building facade for the Continental out front where he got his car. That's mm-hmm. the stock exchange in The Dark Knight. Oh, interesting. Okay, so nice. That nice. facade was used yeah. there. The angle reminds me of uh, was a Daily Bugle. Didn't oh, it that. have like that weird kind of angle, like? Mm. A, the yep. guy who played Vigo, um, he actually had an accident with a stuntman while performing one of the stunts, and he tore the side of his face off, and his ear was actually laying on his shoulder. That's an also? Yeah. Wait. You forgot? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So, so he had to get half of his face stitched back on with 80 stitches, and they had to reshoot some of the final scenes to, to cover what the What the hell happened? <laughs> Who's Vigo again? Vigo okay, was the, 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 the last guy. guy. The, the big guy. The father. Jeez, was it please. in the final fight scene in the rain? And he like... Um, I'm not sure where it was. It might have been in the... Uh... Were they using a real fucking knife? <laughs> I'm just no, thinking about think like so. when you're a kid and you get in trouble and your like, mom grabs your ear. I'm thinking... It's, it's, ah! It just comes all the way off. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes! He had like two car accident things he was involved mm-hmm. in. The final fight he was involved in. Besides that, I can't really think of too much like stunty work he would have been yeah. involved with. Huh. Yeah. I mean, he was like... Punching people sitting in chairs. Yeah. You know, but that'd be weird. Oh, oh, Jesus. God. I think I think what happened, maybe because I was trying to see where it happened. I think in in one of the final shots where John Wick like pushed him and he slammed into that um, dumpster. Mm-hmm. I think that's where it happened. Maybe. Like, okay. mm. God damn. You guys can also get on the fun by helping us choose what we're gonna do next over at patreon.com slash blind. Yeah. Yes, and you can look forward to Into the Spider-Verse commentary for next Woo! week. Which should be very exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Yep. Great movie and I love it. If you don't wanna so, wait, you don't have to. Yes. Make sure you check out early access if you're here on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And make sure you guys go over to Patreon. There's gonna be a poll, at least one poll every week on either the next reaction or the next commentary. Yep. So check that out. Alright, well guys, that was John Wick. Uh hope you guys all enjoyed this. We'll see you. For next time, well, I wonder what's gonna be. What do you think? What do you guys think? Dragonheart. Paul. I'm not gonna be we, we all have seen it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As we said, make sure you guys go check out Patreon, where you can vote <laughs> in the future polls for all the new commentary and movie reactions. We're gonna be coming out every Saturday. Um, and then make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on anything new. Mm. Anything else? What are you doing? I got this one on my amazing shirt from Blowing.net. It's still going, Eric. Your beard. Oh!